Welcome back to another informative session. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more fitness content. Today, we're kicking things off with a hot topic in the world of bodybuilding and fitness, the mighty compound lifts. But what exactly are compound lifts, you ask? Well, in the simplest terms, compound lifts are exercises that engage multiple muscle groups at the same time. They're the heavy hitters, the all-inclusive tickets to muscle town. Let's take a look at some examples. The bench press, for instance, not only works your chest, but also your shoulders and triceps. The shoulder press, another excellent compound lift, targets your shoulders while also engaging your triceps and upper back. The bicep bar curl, a classic that needs no introduction, works your biceps and forearms. The overhead press, a staple in many strength training programs, hits your shoulders, triceps, and upper chest. And let's not forget about the kings of compound lifts, the squats and deadlifts. These two exercises are a full body workout in and of themselves, hitting everything from your legs and back to your core and even your grip strength. Why are these compound lifts so important, you might wonder? Well, these exercises are incredibly efficient. They allow you to work multiple muscle groups simultaneously, which not only saves time, but also promotes muscle growth and strength. Compound lifts also help improve your coordination and balance, as they require a certain level of skill and technique to execute correctly. They are functional exercises, meaning they help you perform everyday tasks more efficiently. But perhaps the most significant benefit of compound lifts is their ability to stimulate the release of anabolic hormones, such as testosterone and growth hormone. These hormones play a crucial role in muscle growth and recovery, helping you get those gains you're after. So if you're looking to pack on some serious muscle, it's time to get friendly with compound lifts. They're not just exercises, they're your ticket to a stronger, more muscular physique. Now that we've set the stage with compound lifts, let's delve into the specifics in our next scene. Ready to explore the world of compound lifts in detail? Here we go! Let's start with the bench press, a staple in any weightlifting routine. It primarily targets your pectoral muscles, but also works your triceps and anterior deltoids. Remember, the key to a successful bench press is maintaining a proper form. Keep your feet flat on the floor, your back flat against the bench, and your hands just wider than shoulder width apart on the bar. Next up, we have the shoulder press. This exercise is all about your deltoids, but it also hits your triceps and upper chest. The trick here is to keep your back straight and press the weights directly overhead in a controlled motion without arching your back. The bicep bar curl, as the name suggests, targets your biceps but also engages your forearms. A handy tip is to keep your elbows close to your torso and avoid swinging the bar. Control is key here. The overhead press is another fantastic upper body exercise that primarily works your shoulders while engaging your triceps and core. Here, it's crucial to press the bar overhead until your arms are fully extended, but remember, don't lock your elbows at the top. Moving on to the lower body, squats are probably the most well-known compound exercise. They primarily target your quadriceps, but your hamstrings, glutes, and lower back are also in on the action. The secret to a good squat is to keep your chest up, your back straight, and your knees in line with your feet as you lower your body. Last, but certainly not least, we have the deadlifts. This powerhouse of an exercise targets your entire posterior chain, from your hamstrings and glutes to your lower and upper back. The key to a safe and effective deadlift is to keep your back straight, your core engaged, and lift the weight with your legs and hips, not your back. Each of these compound lifts offers unique benefits. The bench press and the shoulder press are fantastic for building upper body strength, while the bicep bar curl and overhead press help sculpt your arms and shoulders. Squats and deadlifts, on the other hand, are all about building powerful legs and a strong lower back. But it's not just about muscle gain. These exercises also increase your overall strength, improve your balance and coordination, and contribute to better bone health. Plus, because they engage multiple muscle groups at once, they provide a more efficient workout, helping you burn more calories in less time. So, you see, each compound lift has its unique benefits, making them an essential part of your workout regimen. Compound lifts are king, but let's not forget about isolation exercises. Now we've been talking a lot about the importance of compound lifts, but it's time to shine a spotlight on their equally significant counterparts, isolation exercises. Isolation exercises are like the unsung heroes of the fitness world. These exercises are designed to target and work a single muscle group at a time, allowing for focused growth and development. Think of them as a magnifying glass, letting you zoom in on one specific area that you want to enhance or define. 
Why are these exercises so valuable, you ask? Well, isolation exercises allow you to focus on weaker areas that may be overlooked during compound movements. If you're finding that certain muscles aren't developing as much as others, isolation exercises offer a solution by giving these lagging parts a chance to catch up. Let's paint a picture, shall we? Imagine your body is a masterpiece in progress, and compound lifts are the broad brush strokes that shape the overall image. They're crucial, yes, but isolation exercises? They're the fine details, the intricate touches that truly bring the masterpiece to life. They are what add depth, definition, and distinction to your physique. Now, what kind of isolation exercises are we talking about? Well, there's a whole array of them to choose from. Bicep curls, tricep extensions, calf raises, leg curls, lateral raises, and the list goes on. Each one of these exercises targets a specific muscle group, giving you the control to sculpt and shape your body as you see fit. Remember, it's not about replacing compound lifts with isolation exercises. No, it's about incorporating at least two isolation exercises into your routine to complement the compound lifts. It's about finding the perfect balance to ensure a well-rounded and effective workout. So, the next time you're planning your workout, don't forget to include these unsung heroes. They might not be the main course, but they are the perfect accompaniment that adds flavor and depth to your fitness journey. Isolation exercises, while not the main course, are the perfect complement to compound lifts. No matter how advanced your routine gets, the basics are always crucial. Let's take a moment to reflect on this, shall we? We've discussed compound lifts, isolation exercises, and the nitty-gritty of technique and form. But let's not forget that the core of any successful bodybuilding regime is a strong foundation. And what builds that foundation? You guessed it, the basics. The basics are not just about knowing which exercises to do. They are about understanding why you're doing them, how they impact your body and how to do them correctly. They are about consistency and regularity. They're about sticking to your routine, day in and day out, even when it's the last thing you feel like doing. And let's not forget about nutrition. It's one thing to pump iron in the gym, but it's another thing entirely to fuel your body with the right nutrients. Protein for muscle repair, carbs for energy, and fats for overall health. These are all essential components of a balanced diet that supports muscle gain. So before you rush off to try the latest bodybuilding trend, remember this. The basics are your compass. They keep you grounded, guide you in the right direction, and prevent you from losing sight of what's truly important. Remember, the basics are your foundation. Build it strong, and the rest will follow. Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned today. We've explored the immense value of compound lifts, those power-packed exercises like bench presses and squats that work multiple muscle groups simultaneously. We underscored the importance of isolation exercises, the ones that target specific muscles, refining and defining them. We've also revisited the basics, reminding ourselves that the foundation of all good fitness is simplicity and consistency. That's all for today, folks. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay committed to your fitness journey. Until next time.